All right, I want to do a quick review on this Roland FP30X. We got this piano recently. We had a small keyboard, more like a little kid's keyboard for my kids to start learning on with smaller than normal keys. Not weighted, uh, completely more just like a play piano. They started picking up one of these books, learning songs on it. I started teaching them a little bit of it. And we quickly got to the point where we needed something better. Uh, I grew up, my mom was a piano teacher. We had a grand piano in the house the entire time I was growing up. And so I was very used to weighted keys and normal sized keys. And I really hated the cheap feeling of the little keyboard. But granted, I'm not a concert pianist, so I didn't need a grand piano in our house just to teach my kids on. So I wanted something with weighted keys, something that felt solid, something that didn't move around all over the place, something that would last them if they kept with piano for a long time, but also something that wasn't multiple thousands of dollars. After a lot of research, I settled on this Roland FP30X. There is a slightly bigger version of this as far as it goes deeper. I think it's the FP60X or 90X, one of those two. And it has a much larger uh, speaker system built into the keyboard. This, that's the one downside, if I had to say downside of this piano so far, I'll go over a lot of the things I like about this, and there's a couple things I don't, but one of the things that I'm not as a fan of is the, the speakers on this. They're perfect for practicing. If I'm hitting the keys right now, it sounds fine. It sounds a little bit muted compared to some keyboards that I've played before. Um, even at the highest volume setting, you can see we're at four out of five right here. If I turn this all the way up, um, I'll play something. It's not crazy loud, which maybe that's what you want in a home piano. I don't think we're ever even gonna turn it up really even this loud. But if you're trying to play for a room full of people, do a little uh, piano recital, it's going to be on the quieter end of the spectrum as far as the speakers go. I believe there's two tweeters on the side and then two bass speakers underneath pointed at the floor there, which makes the sound. So with that out of the way, there's a ton of things I like about this keyboard. One of them is the key action feels very natural. It feels very normal. Uh, they're weighted. Uh, all the keys, even the black keys, the white keys, all feel the same, same resistance. It was a little harder for my kids to pick up at first coming from a little tiny keyboard with little springy keys to actually having weighted keys to use for their fingers, but they picked it up quickly. I like the music stands it comes with, and specifically, I like how simple the layout is here. There's not a ton of buttons for my kids to mess with when you're trying to teach a three-year-old and a five-year-old and a seven-year-old how to play piano. They instantly start clicking buttons, and uh, a lot of keyboards out there are full of complex things you can do with them and are full of ways that kids can mess them up. This keeps it very simple. I can see easily it's paired with my phone right now. Uh, it's got the volume settings here, power on and off, a few major categories of sounds they can change it to, like piano, e-piano, other, splits, where you can change half the keyboard to sound one way, half the keyboard to sound another way. And then we've got just the metronome, which I really, really like. And this is super easy for me to change on the spot while my kids are playing a song to keep them in time. And then if I go into the app, it's in 4-4 right now. I can change it to 3-4 or any other time signature I want that metronome to be in. For some reason, once I got this and pulled it out of the box, the metronome was in 3-4. So I didn't have to open up the app. You can't change it right here. Or at least I have not figured out how to change it right here if you can. And then uh, you can select the song, play, pause, and then record, which will record onto your app. There's also, if you look right here on the keys, you can see the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero. And then there's the transpose section right here. Uh, twin piano, ambiance, brilliance, uh, key touch, all these different things you can actually select. So you're using the keys to go through some of the menu systems up here. So it takes away some of the buttons up here, which is nice. And then you can change some settings down here. Honestly, I've not used any of this. I've just used the app if I wanna change anything. But honestly, 99% of the time, I don't ever have to touch the app because we're on piano, we're doing basic piano. The kids can play here and do whatever they wanna do. And if they wanna have another sound, they can switch here and change it. Um, and most of the time, normal piano setting is what they're leaving it in because they're practicing the piano and we're not playing with a lot of funny sounds. And so it's perfect for that reason. Um, it's really, really light. Even though it has a nice weighted keys, it's not near as heavy as I was expecting it to be. Uh, we did not get the Roland furniture stand for it. I wanted something a little bit more portable. And so we got this other stand to put under it. 
uh, which has been perfect for it. And then I got an adjustable chair, adjustable bench to go with it. So I kind of pieced together the setup here. It does come with one pedal out of the box. Um, you can connect. I don't have it connected right now. It just is one wire that comes down and a pedal. I believe if you get the Roland Furniture style stand, you can get the three pedals that come with that as a separate purchase. But this is how the piano comes uh, when you first buy it. And so I'm really, really happy with it overall. Like I said, the speakers were not quite as loud as I was expecting. But honestly, like I said, with normal practice, we normally have it in the three range anyways. The kids can hear it. It's not super loud throughout the house. Um, and so it's perfect for what we need. I think it's something that's going to last a long time. Even if my kids become a lot more serious with playing the piano or if I pick up the piano a little more than I am right now, I think it's something we can be happy with for a long time. And I do like that it does have two line outs in the back. So it has a left and right. If we look back here and a way to connect it to the computer so you can connect it to the computer, master USB, um, USB to computer, and then you have your power and then you have an in and out. And so I can connect it and I have before. I have like a practice amp over here for a guitar. I can plug that in, turn off the sound on the speakers on this and play through another speaker set. So if you ever are going to take this and do a little piano recital or need some extra sound, uh, you can still do that with this piano, which is nice, which is why the speakers being not super loud is not a big deal since most of the time you won't need that anyways. Uh, what else am I gonna say on this? I think most everything else is pretty straightforward with this. Um, I just really like how solid this feels and how nice these keys feel. It does not at all feel like what you'd expect a keyboard, especially a keyboard under $1,000 to feel like. It feels just like a much higher end piano as you're playing this. Um, I really like the matte type of finish to these keys. It's tough to tell on video, but keys will either have a matte type finish to them or a glossy type finish to them. I personally really like this matte type feeling. You get a better grip on the keys, I think. It's not near as slippery. Um, it's easier for you to keep contact and different keys. And so I like this matte finish. That's what this keyboard comes with. Uh, some other keyboards you'll get to have more of that glossy, slippery, or finish on them. I guess this is up to personal preference, but I like this style of it. So if you're looking for a great piano for an adult or a child to pick it up to learn on, something that doesn't break the bank, but also something that you can use for years on end um, and still be happy with everything that it gives you. I think this is the perfect happy medium for that. So once again, this is the Roland FP30X.